Our grandpa, Akong, Ninik, Pati, basically all of our seniors, they have a lot of questions about the vaccines. Is it safe? Why so fast? Can we or not? Ah? We want to help you understand how you can better explain it to your seniors. So let's start off by breaking down the science behind the vaccines so they can put their minds at ease. Alright, before we get into whether you should get the vaccine, this is how the mRNA vaccines in Singapore work. The COVID-19 virus particles enter our cells by using the spike proteins found on its surface to stick to our cells. These spikes are the critical part of the virus for it to infect us. Scientists have figured out the entire instruction manual to make the whole virus and they created an instruction booklet to make just specifically the spikes of the virus. This instruction booklet is the vaccine. When we get injected with the COVID-19 vaccine, the instruction booklets are sent to your body cells to create the spikes. Remember, only the spikes are created, not the entire virus, so it cannot infect you. When your body sees these spikes, they will see them as foreign objects that are not supposed to be in your body and will recruit your soldier cells to attack them. Your body remembers that they are the bad guys and they now know how to fight them effectively. Now, this is when your body will feel a little woozy or you may develop a small fever because your body is fighting these spikes for the very first time. So, if the actual COVID-19 virus comes in your body, your body cells will recognise the spikes immediately and will activate your soldier cells to kill the virus before it can infect and do any harm to your body. Now that you understand how the vaccine works, we know that it has a very real and focused purpose. To prepare the body to fight the real threat, just like our army. Knowing these facts, I think we should address some of the lingering questions out there. The vaccine come out so fast. Safe First point to note is that because of the urgency of the situation, there's a lot more resources, a lot more funding and a lot more time and effort that's being put into creating these vaccines by any country who has the means to do so. But that doesn't mean that the standard has dropped, it's just that the vaccine has become a priority. Imagine you're trying to get from the east end of Singapore to the west end via public transport. It will take around 3 hours including waiting time and that's a really long time. But now, you have helicopter and you have the best pilot in the world to bring you from starting point to the ending point. So, you still get from one point to the other, it's just that it's much faster. Second point to note is that, okay, remember, this is Singapore. So there's actually a lot of checks and regulations to go through before the vaccines are approved. First, we have the expert committee that looks into the data of the COVID-19 vaccination. Then, we have the Health Sciences Authority. And last but not least, we have MOH, the Ministry of Health. You have to note that mild side effects after getting any type of vaccines is pretty common. So these are just reactions of our body's immune systems who's really seeing these noob spiky enemies for the very first time. We are training our bodies to fight them so that if the real enemy invades, our body is ready and can be activated anytime. MJ, why now know so many people sick? Why am I take now? So what we're trying to do here is to seize the window of opportunity when the storm has come down, for now, to get everyone primed and ready so that just in case, tashu tashu, if there's another wave that hits us, we are ready to fight it back. So in other words, we are just trying to be a really true blue Singaporean by being very kiasu and very kiasi. Our grandparents looked after us when we were young to ensure that we did not fall as we took our first steps. So now it's time for us to do our part and protect them. Each person that gets vaccinated is one link broken for the virus. Getting vaccinated not only protects you, but protects your loved ones, your family, your friends, and anyone else that is unable to get vaccinated. Each person counts. So let's burst the COVID bubble and help to lead the world back to how it was before. Just keep thinking. <laughs>